Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Usually Veronica would say something. A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? So now we're going to talk to her about this. You know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders, or see the value in their simpler technologies. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. Alright, sorry about that guys. I'll uh, kind of change that up a little bit, but I had a phone call I had to take real fast. Anyways, let's go ahead and keep talking to her. See if she has anything else to say. So she she told us that, but I don't think it was enough to start the quest, correct? Yeah, it is not enough yet. Damn it. So we need to go one more place with her and that'll probably be enough. Let's go ahead and talk to Pete Hi. one last time real fast. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Ask away. So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Exactly. We haven't detonated any atomic warhead since before I was born. But besides that, it's a heck with nitpicky restrictions. Anything else you want to know? Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a Sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. Indeed we do. Very impressive. Anything else you want to know? You're right, they weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. 
Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. See ya. Alright, so then the boomers, we are liked by them now after we got all those speech checks with them. So, sweet. We're getting one step closer to being analyzed by the boomers. And make sure you get the storm, this uh, snow globe here. I almost totally forgot about this. Bam. That's a free, what, 2,000 caps maybe? 3,000 caps, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're rich. Maybe it's a little more. Maybe it's like 5,000. I don't really know how much it's worth, but whatever the case may be, you get free caps by picking that up. Well, not yet. You got to turn it in, but uh, you, you know what? We'll, you'll be able to do that later anyway, so might as well. Anyways, um, where is the workshop at? Because you just said Jack is at the workshop, but we were at the workshop, I believe, and we didn't see. So that's Loyal's house. I think it was because it was nighttime. That's why he wasn't here. So we're going to go inside this workshop. And then maybe we will uh, wait until it's like more daytime. If he's not in here now, yeah, he's not. So let's go ahead and wait six hours. That'll put us around uh, 11.53, which will be around noon. So hopefully he'll be back here ready to go. All right, perhaps not. He said the workshop, correct? We'll wait one more hour just in case he's a late sleeper. Oh, well, fuck this guy. Maybe he's somewhere else and maybe he's roaming around, but we'll we'll find him. We know where Loyal's at because we talked to him. I'm just trying to find Jack because that's the only person we have yet to talk to. So we could continue over there if we wanted to, but instead let's just go over here first and uh, see what's up in these barracks real fast. Maybe there's some people to talk to. That's where Pearl's going to be and these, the rest of these barracks are just where the rest of the people are going to be. We can go inside and see if there's anyone in such uh, barracks. <laughs> Lost my wording there. So let's see, it's probably just going to be regular boomers. Yeah, just as I expected. Oh, it's Veronica over there. I was like, what the hell is that? Who's over there? I'm going to turn that bad boy off. It's probably just going to be bathrooms. Yep, fantastic. Nothing in here. Go ahead and back out. And uh, head to the next one. One by one. So there's some kind of robot uh, roaming around. I kind of want to talk to the robot. Maybe he has something to say. Let's find out. Nope, he has I nothing. Take care of that robot Just saying. Oh, he wants to take care of Eddie. Hell's no. We're going to go inside the men's barracks. I doubt maybe maybe Jack will be in here. He did say Jack was a person, right? Jack and Loyal like to spend their days in the workshop. I was in the workshop. No one was there. So if he's over here. Yep, these are all just regular boomers. Damn it. Is this Jack sleeping? Nope, just a regular boomer. Baby boomers. Uh, I just want to see if there's anything else. Maybe a sunset star. Sarsaparilla bottle cap somewhere. Maybe not. A whole bunch of books if you really needed them. So I'm going to leave. As far as I can tell, there's nothing. Continue making our way. I don't want to spend too long exploring anyways. Just because we've been on this game for a while. I don't need money. And, uh, where's, oh yeah, and because I didn't want everyone walking around to places and then I'm, you know, in case they go into places I've already been and then, you know, I don't know where they are. Once I find them, I really don't care. We're going to go in this last place. Hopefully he is in here. If not, we're going to continue exploring. So here's another woman's barrack. How much barracks do, how, is it like, it's like a two to one ratio here. Like the men only have one barrack, but the women have two. Unfair. Watch your step, sister. There's nothing even in here. Fantastic. I hope these are just boomers. All right. Go ahead and leave again. We'll continue exploring the base, and then eventually we will uh, start the quest. But I believe there's some more people to talk to. 
I'm really curious where Jack's at. He said Jack. I believe she said Jack too. Unless I'm just going fucking crazy. Where's that guy running to? He's suspicious. If I, only if I could sprint on this game. I can take care of that robot. Mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is you, little girl? Lindsay. Let's talk to Lindsay. We can. Hey there, lady. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? Mr. Cuddles is my teddy. I lost him, and I don't remember where. Thanks. Let me know when you find him. Alright, well, let's keep our eyes open, but I have no idea where that's going to be. Hey, another kid. Halt. You must pay the toll to pass. You may pass. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Some more fame. We have someone in the distance over here. Is that just a... Uh... Oh, I guess we help the boomers around. Nellis, yay. She's going to... Once we return her, she's going to give us a quest to... Uh... Really? So we may see our dream like too. She's going to give us a quest to go dig up that uh, boomer that that kid was talking about, I believe. What's the situation with the giant ants? We haven't seen the last of each other, Savage. Alright, well, I don't know where Jack's at, so I'm about to say fuck him. <laughs> but I might... Uh, let's see. What is this? Where is this leading me? I totally... We went to the base for some reason, but why? Find the missing Brotherhood Patrol in Nellis and retrieve the Hollow on their mission. Somewhere over here, that's what they're saying. We also have a couple people... Or something on my map over here. So hopefully one of them is Jack. So these are just the gatekeepers. There's not going to be anyone. Just regular boomers. Cool. We're going to leave this place real fast just to go to find that patrol. It's going to be right over here and they don't they don't shoot us uh, shoot at us anymore. So it's going to be good. We also got to go back to that guy and tell him that we made it to Boomer territory. Maybe we'll do that and then finish and then come back to the Boomer when I start it up next time. And this, we just need to get the hollow tape in here. You guys want to listen to it? Hopefully, if it's available to listen to, I'll let you guys listen to it. And I don't think there is. That's just a... Okay, cool. Never mind. I don't think you can listen to it. That was something else. So, uh, like I said, we're, we're going to travel back. Uh, I'm not sure which one we're going to do yet. I'm going to maybe decide that next time I come back. But for now, what we're going to do is travel back to this guy and uh, tell him, Hey, guess what? We made it. And he's going to be like, Oh, shit, you did it. He's going to give us some caps. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive, let alone manage a return trip. Yep, here are your caps. You drive a hard bargain. Here you go. Have a nice day. Yeah. So we got plus 88 for that, so um, I'm going to end it here when we come back. We'll either be uh, back at the Boomers, or I might travel to the Hidden Valley and continue on the, the quest. So we'll see. I'll see you guys next time, though. Thank uh, next time, though. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.